Hey guys, Tony Scalaichi here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use webhook clients for your discord.js code. So, to get started, go to wherever your code editor is. In this case, I am using Visual Studio Code, but you could be using something like Replit, or maybe you're in a different console for a different host for whatever script you're using, but at the top where you have your discord.js defined, like const discord equals require discord.js, what we're going to do is just simply copy this and then make a new line and then paste it. And then instead of discord, we are going to use the curly brackets so that it encapsulates discord within the curly brackets and then press spacebar spacebar again and then left arrow key and then in the middle right here we're going to type webhook client because discord.js or if you're using something like discord.js selfbot v13 they both have webhook clients already in the package module so to utilize the webhook client that we just defined i'm going to create a new command so I'm going to copy and paste this little code right here. You can use this webhook in any part of your bot or self bot or whatever you're using. But right here, I'm just going to type webhook demo as the command. And then just going to delete this because we don't need the message reply. But creating two new lines above this, we actually do have to define the webhook that we're going to be using. So const webhook. How about um, demo webhook for the name? So const demo webhook equals new webhook client. And then we're going to have one parameter called URL. So URL is, and then for the URL, we are going to go to Discord. And then for whatever channel you want the webhook to be in, you're going to go to edit channel and then you're going to see integration. So go to integrations and then create webhook. And then as you see, it created a webhook called SpuddyBot. Sometimes it'll be called something else like Captain Hook or whatever, but you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this webhook bot. And then you're going to see this copy webhook URL button right here. So we're just going to click on this to copy the URL to the webhook. And then you're just going to paste this right here as the URL. And then you're going to do comma and then semicolon right there. Going back to the webhook demo command I made right here. You, just, you could just copy the name. So you'll see, paste that right there. And then dot send webhook worked. And then if you want to do something like an embed or anything like that, it works exactly the same as sending it through the bot, but you're just sending it through the webhook client instead of the normal client. So if I just execute this code right here, no error should pop up. Client has been initiated, webhook bot, and then going back to Discord with my webhook bot right here. If I just type webhook demo, it says webhook worked. And if we go and if we click on the bot profile, it's not actually a bot because it's webhook and it has no user information or anything like that. So that is how you know that your webhook worked. This is the end of the tutorial. So if you need any assistance, you can add me on Discord, TonyScaleYT or TonyScaleYT. As you see on the screen right now, I suggest watching some other tutorials you'll see on the end screen. But this has been TonyScaleYT and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.